Let's go to John Sopel, who spent years at the BBC explaining American politics to the UK. Now he's here to explain British politics to all of us. Uh, John, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. If, in fact, Boris Johnson walks through that front door and announces his resignation, what happens then? We don't know. We have no idea what Boris Johnson is going to say or what he's going to try and do. I cannot begin to describe how surreal British politics has become in the past 48 hours. It's kind of gone slightly Monty Pythons, a bit of scruffy Downton Abbey and a bit of succession thrown in as well because it has gone mad. We have had a new Treasury Secretary appointed on Tuesday night. On wet, the next morning, he goes on a round of the TV and radio studios to defend Boris Johnson. This morning, he issues a letter saying Boris Johnson has got to go. We get a new education secretary appointed who has resigned within 24 hours. So what Boris does or says next is anyone's guess. And I think that what he will try to do is he will try to hold on until the autumn. He's apparently reappointing ministers as we speak, which seems utterly bizarre. But whether he'll be allowed to remains to be seen. And the desperate thing that the Conservative Party is worried about is embroiling the Queen in a row over the constitutional succession of Prime Minister. Yeah, Boris, there, there, there are many Boris Johnson quotes that come to mind uh, at a moment like this. W uh, one in particular, his philosophy on resignation, he was asked about it back in 2015, 2016, and he said he preferred to cello tape everything together and kind of shamble through. So we'll see if that is in fact going to happen. Uh, Dana, I hand it over to you. Well, I think that the next question, even though we may not know when it seems to be the fate, is that resignation. So who might be prime minister next? <laughs> You're going to wish you hadn't invited me on the television this morning because I'm going to say, <laughs> I don't know. There are so many candidates. I can, I mean, there are so many cabinet ministers who are looking at themselves in the mirror and saying, I could be prime minister. They all think they've got a shout. So I think Nadim Zahawi, who is this, the, the, the Treasury Secretary, Chancellor of the Exchequer, who's been appointed, he'll fancy himself. The Foreign Secretary, Liz Truss, she's cutting short a trip to Indonesia at the G20 to come back early. I can go on with a list of runners and riders, but there is no standout charismatic figure in the way that Boris Johnson was charismatic. David Cameron, the former Prime Minister, described Boris Johnson as as slippery to get hold of as a greased piglet. Today he's been turned into sausage meat. <laughs> John, um, in one word, what is Boris Johnson's legacy? Brexit, chaos, and a bit of untrustworthiness. Mm. John Sobel, thank you.